Greetings! Let's drink too many spirits while we talk about too many spirits. <laughs> it's, it's too, too many, many spirits! This episode of Too Many Spirits is brought to you by Word Farm Adventure. Word Farm Adventure is a free game where you solve crossword puzzles and solve World Scrabble missions on your phone. It combines a series of puzzle games to challenge your brain along with a gripping, unfolding story. As you play through different areas completing crossword puzzles, word find challenges, word scrabble missions, and word swipe scrabble quests, you unlock the ability to slowly rebuild areas of the game. Like you can paint your barn. What color did you paint your farm? I painted it green. There are many levels to choose from and multiple locations to rebuild, such as the farm and the villa. The more levels you win, the quicker you get to rebuild. That's right. Word Farm Adventure is available on Android and iOS. Download for free using the link in the description. You can work through puzzles, level up, and design and renovate your beautiful farm. Install Word Farm Adventure for free on Android or the Apple App Store today. Did we mention it's free? It's free. It's a free, it's a free game. This is the show where we drink our drinks and read your spooky ghost stories. We're filming four episodes, all four episodes being filmed tonight. So right now we're pretty normal, right? Yeah. Right? Yes. But by the end, oh boy, we're gonna be different. As always, we'll be enjoying a tasty beverage prepared by our cocktail maestro, Stephen Lim. Except this season, we're gonna have an actual cocktail maestro who happens to be my dear friend and a professional mixologist, Ricky Wang. I think Stephen Lim might get a little cranky about that one. <laughs> Doesn't matter, we're gonna have tasty drinks and I can almost taste them. Mm, yeah. Whoa, hey, don't get carried away with that. You're too many spirits, too many spirits, okay. Hey! <laughs> ah, welcome back to Too Many Spirits, season four. What? I mean, I was very supportive of having Ricky here. You know, I thought, what more could this show use than a, a, another bartender? But we brought one, and uh, this is his concoction. It's called the Merry Merry Mule. That's a good name. Thank I you like very that. much. Why am I sweating in here? This is really <laughs> weird. Okay, so what do we got for this first drink? Eight to ten mint leaves. That is so many more than eight to ten. No, that's a good amount. Here yeah, we go, here we go. Many. Ryan, you're gonna love this drink. I'm, this one's just for you. Uh, just so you guys know, at the end of this, one of us will have Steven's drink, and one of us will get Ricky's drink. And I hope that's me. I think we're gonna play rock, paper, scissors? Sure. This is a muddler, right? Look, I, I don't know. You know what? Anytime I'm taking a little mint leaf, I like to take one for myself. So why don't you go chew on one of those for a little bonus okay, little okay, treat. Okay, 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 all right. Yeah. Mm. You wrap it? Mm. That's good though, right? Mm. I'll give you a hint, you can muddle it in the tins. In the tins? This tin? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. All right, so first all we're gonna do is min muddle these mint leaves. I'm very happy you're here. What do you think of this technique there? You know, it's pretty decent technique. Um, it's the, the twist, the push and twist. It's, so it's the pressure. concentration. Why, why is Ricky commenting on my <laughs> bartending? I'm very supportive of you, Steven. That makes one of us. This is so much pressure. Two ounces of gin. I'll actually measure this time. Okay. I'll give you another hint. The large one is two ounces. Oh. So cut that part out. Okay. I can't believe we drank this man's it's... drinks for three seasons. Measured to perfection. He's, he's only measuring because you're here. That's true. I measure. We got a half an ounce of lime juice. One generous squeeze. That's what the instructions say. Ooh well, someone really got a hold of Lovely. that Lovely. One ounce of cranberry juice. You don't need to shake cranberry juice. It's not like milk. It's a, you know, a little bit of a weak shake, but I'm still very supportive. <laughs> Show him a strong shake. Overcompensate. Oh my God. What the <laughs> Where the fuck? Where'd you go? One ounce of cranberry juice. <laughs> okay. Honestly, if my bartender did that, I'd give him a big, big tip. That's true. Bada bing, bada boom. Ricky looks concerned. Oh, what's going on, Ricky? You might want to shake it with ice. Uh, oh, filled with ice. But I'm here to help you. He's what? supporting you. Mm hmm Oh, ice. Oh yeah, look at that, there we go. He's back, baby. <sighs> okay. 
I don't know like, Oh gosh, I'm so sorry guys. And we put it into our meal mug. I'm gonna just strain it because you don't want that ice. We take our job very seriously here. Uh, right, Ricky? Like, you know. There we go. Oh, there yeah. that's so good. Okay. You know what the drink could really use? Ginger beer. When you say it could really use it, does that mean it's in the recipe and you just? I don't, I, you know, I don't see it here, but I think it could really use some ginger beer. Is it it's, in the recipe? Yeah. Oh, should, we, should, should I shake the ginger beer? Uh, generally not, but yeah, <laughs> please do. Oh and there God. Yeah, yeah, sure. that's exactly what I thought was gonna happen. Exactly, yeah. it's about the performance. You can fool people, you fake it till you make it, and you are fooling us right now. You're gonna love the way I garnish this, you? guys, okay? You're gonna love this. Don't show the bottom. What? What? Whoa, whoa! Ah, garnish! Okay. I really hope he's not rose married to that bit. <laughs> High five on that one, baby, yeah! <laughs> Steven and Ricky's Mary Mary meal. That was really well done. I'm really impressed. Thank you. Now that he's learned how to make the drink, why don't you there show other yes. people how yes. to make the drink as well? Yes. Come I on now, Steven Ricky! To help me. Absolutely now nasty. we're gonna bring in Steven's understudy, Ricky. Hey. You've given me confidence. Go ahead, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to remake the Mary Mary Mule. Not that you did anything you. wrong. Thank you. Earlier, you were like pulverizing the mint leaves. Right, yeah, pulverize. You know, you just gotta muddle it lightly enough to release the oils. A lot of bartenders, they go, you don't really gotta, you know. I'm not a lot of bartenders. Exactly, you're, <laughs> we're on the same level. <laughs> <laughs> Tasty. Oh no, did you see that pour? It's a little bit much. Yeah, uh, really good. Kind of went over the line there. So the recipe is a half ounce of uh, lime juice. Yeah, um, I did, a half lime. Mine came out to like a quarter. Gotcha. So you might want to do another one. Another one. Um, I don't typically shake my cranberry juice, but I'm inspired by Steven. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna give this a good shake. Yeah, Whoa, together. that's a good together. shake. <laughs> we're gonna give this a good shake. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> one ounce of cranberry juice. Okay, now we're ready to shake this with ice. Yeah, that's is over there. <laughs> you shake this. Oh! Don't look at him in the eyes like that, Stephen, while he's shaking. <laughs> Let us trade this over fresh ice. Drink responsibly. And then, you know, you never want to shake anything carbonated. Unless... <laughs> Unless you're Steven. Unless you want some tips. That's, that's they, thank you for helping me. <laughs> <laughs> and here's our uh, Merry Merry Mule. Oh, you know um, what? That looks great. It's mm. really, really, really good. We always applaud for Steven's drinks, don't we? In my mind. Yeah, I think we do. Now it's time to rock, paper, scissors. Whoever wins gets to pick the drink that they receive, whether it's from Steven or Ricky. So in doot doot. less words, Hello. whoever wins gets hey. Ricky's drink. Well, we don't know that. Maybe I'll pick Steven's drink if I win. <laughs> Sudden death? Sudden death. I really don't want Steven's drink. I know. Sorry, Steven. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, bang! Yes! Yes! Send Steven's drink that way. I'll take it. Steven, I, I, you make a good drink. Thank you. I knew you were gonna choose mine anyway, so you got what you wanted. Trapus. All right, Trapus. enjoy, guys. Well, cheers. This is gonna be great. All right, we're rolling on this bad boy. Okay, all right, now, hey, now, if you're new to this series, first of all, welcome. It's a seasonal delight and a fan favorite. I'd also like to introduce you to a little thing we call Spirit Cam. It's called the Spirit Cam. Take a look. Well, bottoms up, buddy. Bonk. Oh, sorry, sorry, Here we sorry, go. sorry, I was having a moment there. Oh, we're drinking right now? Yeah. Well, that tastes- oh, that, that smells delightful. That has tastes. <laughs> delicious. Was, yeah, good. Fucking delicious. Not bad, honestly. Steven, it's, it's not bad. And you know what? If I took a sip of that, I might say, this stinks. But having nothing to judge it by- That's right. It's, it's, it tastes good to me. Context is key. I'll give this an eight out of 10. That's eight out of 10. That's an eight out of 10 from me. 10 out of 10. Wow. 10 out of 10 spirits. Wait, 11 out of 10 spirits. Oh, no, that's! No, wait, wait, wait. Let's give that 120 out of 10 spirits. Okay, knowing that, I'm gonna knock this down to a six. That's a six out of 10, Steven, because that sounds really good. Now, you'll notice that we're wearing some festive sweaters uh, tonight, but a, a fun- Fuck, you stupid piece of shit.
uh, every episode we're going to be opening. We've been gifted these wonderful sweaters from Santa Claus himself. Mr. Claus. He dropped them off here. We're gonna be cracking them open every episode. This episode, obviously, we've got your wonderful little funny dog with glasses. I got my pup pup on my yeah, shirt. Pup pup And he's got and his I've little, got my he's, pretty little He's got a little puss puss on, yeah. on, his, on his chest. We got our puss puss and pup pups. As always, we'll be reading a story from our special mailbox. These are also stories sent to us directly from, these were sent by Mrs. Claus. Mrs. Claus sent us the stories. Mr. Claus sent us these lovely little boxes here, Come which I can't wait to get my grubby little oh, fingers yeah, on. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I'm gonna open the shit out of these okay. presents like a fucking ravenous wolf. That's scary, okay. Who's going first? At long last! Yes! It's story time. Uh, you go first. How about okay. that? You do the honors. This is from Don't Take Me Seriously Please on Tumblr. Well, do we? Do they want us to take them seriously? Is this like a reverse psychology kind of thing? It's just a. It's just a name. I was the ghost story. What? A twist, right at the top. What the fuck? Now that's a hell of a way to. That start is. A story. I'm hooked. Consider me hooked. I used to get really bad nosebleeds as a kid, and one year after my school's Christmas concert in elementary school, hmm. my nose started bleeding. So I went to the bathroom to clean it up, but I was dumb. Okay, well, I don't like how they're talking to themselves. And I didn't think to plug my nose. So the entire front of my little fancy white dress was covered in blood. Oh, oh. scary. Jesus Christ. Well, I don't like the negative self-talk. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna look. say that right now. Don't ever call yourself dumb, all right? I do that all the time, but that's me. Some kid I didn't know walked in on me and got scared, so she ran off. I went home, but later at school, I heard her telling the story of how she saw Bloody Mary in the bathroom. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> was, was this person's name Mary? No. Oh. Or not as far as I know. Did you ever try and summon Bloody Mary when you were no, a child? No, it's just bullshit. Not even as a child? No, I was like, that's bullshit. Did you ever have any kind of fun? Yeah, I had other a lot than, of fun. I ate other worms. Other than getting... What? 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 I eat fucking. I eat worms. Like Simba? I eat worms. I eat bugs. I eat uh, June bugs. I eat um, cicadas. You ever eat ants? What did we give that story? It was a lot of I fun. I got distracted by all your bug talk. I give that one an eight out of ten. I'm gonna give that one a five out of ten. You know, I'm not gonna start off too hot. You know, five out of ten. Strong start. Okay. Didn't stick the landing. That's good. That's a good toss. You're so good at tossing cards. And you don't you should you be a, have to say that. You should be a, a professional card tosser. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, see you later, guys. <laughs> this comes from Light Up Duck cool. on Tumblr. Oh, wait, I forgot. User. <laughs> yeah. You like that? Yeah, I'm glad you brought it. User. Uh, Light Up Duck Tumblr. At one point when I was younger, Maybe six or seven. Okay, a scary age, yeah, to be young. The world is scary then. I, mean, I don't buy that you were ever scared of anything when I you was were a young. little baby boy. I was scared of dogs. I feel like you I came got... out of the womb giving the middle finger. Slap my ass! <laughs> <laughs> Bring Shady Boy to life. <laughs> <laughs> and then you played an electric guitar lick and just rolled off the table. Yeah. <laughs> I woke up sometime late at night, rolled over and locked eyes with a man in my room. Well, that's. That's just your dad. Or, or if it's not, then you... Now we have problems. Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. I don't know if he was necessarily a ghost, but he was certainly not a regular human person. Okay. <laughs> His head was quite large, about two to three feet tall. <laughs> what? That is quite large for a head. It's a big ass head, dude. And he was hunched behind a rocking chair across the room. Ooh, she had a rocking chair in her room. That sounds sweet. It wasn't a threatening crouch, however, and I didn't feel afraid of him. He seemed just as startled by me as I was of him, and I got the sense he was just passing through. After unblinkingly looking at each other for a few moments, I closed my eyes and went back to sleep to let him go his way. I never did see him again, but I do remember my visitor with a sort of fond respect. My visitor. I'm gonna hit the camera. Oh! <laughs> oh 
No one has ever whiffed so hard. In the I'm history. just not good at throwing cards, oh, man. Lordy. Before we rate this, I need to know what a, a threatening crouch versus a non-threatening crouch is. You tell me. I've got a marginally large head. Well, you don't got a marginally large head. You have a large head. But you also have a flat ass. When you're crouching out, I feel like if oh. the cakes are out, maybe it's a little more threat. If I'm caking? <laughs> it's when you crane up like an accordion. That's when, yeah, oh, see, I don't like that. Oh my goodness gracious. And now I'm screaming for my mother. Yeah, yeah. That's, you look that's no so good. tall. Now that we've sussed out our crouches, what are we giving that one? A six out of 10 spirits. I'm going to give that one a three because there was no mention of the state of cakes. It's a three. Next story, here we go. This is from Summer Nicole C on Instagram. <laughs> Cram town. When my mom was a relatively little kid, she and her sister shared a bedroom whose window faced their driveway. Classic. What's a relatively young kid? I don't know. Probably just young. One night, my aunt woke my mom and told her she had to come look out the window. When my mom looked out, there were a bunch of black balloons <laughs> floating around. Holy shit, dude, a, a fucking goth Pennywise? <laughs> yeah. It's like Pennywise listening to My Chemical Romance. Hey, oh, <laughs> you're bad, <laughs> you you're bad. I mean. All with different faces drawn on them with white chalk. They would drift back and forth closer to the window, never rising into the sky. And more than anything, my mom remembers being delighted with them, not scared. Uh, both my mom and my aunt saw them. The next morning, um, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and I spit it, it out. The next morning, a man was found dead in the driveway. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Wait a second. Okay, let's backtrack here. There was a bal there's balloons with faces on them. Yeah. And then the next morning, they find a dead man in the driveway. Yeah, that's right. A psychologist later told my mom that she believed the balloons were an illusion created by the minds of my mom and aunt to protect their psyche, and they had in, re <laughs> and they had in reality watched the murder as it happened. What the fuck? That psychologist, not real. Yeah, that, that is ain't a, a real psychologist. <laughs> no psychologist would ever be like, no, what you thought didn't happen. Yeah, what dude. happened is you saw someone murdered. Put that fucking psychologist in ducktails because that guy's a fucking quack. No! <laughs> brother, you got it! A woo! I'm giving that one a full 10 out of 10. A I 10 love, out of <laughs> love the shit out of that story. Shane loves the corpse in the driveway. I'll well, yes, yeah, so apologies to the man who, who died. I'll give that a 9 out of 10 spirits. It's not too it's many. It's strong. It's strong, you gotta but admit. It's, it's not that strong. Admit. Don't point at me. Hey, that's strong. Strong. Where's that stick? It's over there. You know what? I'm just gonna kick back. Come on, girl. You know it. you want it. Yeah. There you go. I'm gonna take care of you. Okay. Alrighty. It's a lot of logs. That's been Log Bros. <laughs> <laughs> now, before we get to uh, our last few stories here, we're introducing a fun new thing this season where Ryan and I, noted paranormal experts, are gonna be fielding some questions uh, and providing some paranormal advice. <laughs> what? The the greatest ghost hunters. The greatest ghost hunters in the game. I have a suggestion for the name of the segment. What do you got? Here's what you ghoul. Yeah, you know, it's a little throwback. We can work. Uh, we can work that, I don't think we I think that, can, Nobody. Nobody. What about here's what you boo? Here's what you boo is really good. <laughs> that's, that's actually it better. was right there. Dang it. It was a okay, okay. Well, yeah, that's that's okay. Here's what you boo. This one comes from user Rue is a snowflake on Twitter. I have a demon named Bartholomew. <laughs> Barty for short. What? He's pretty chill, but my sister does not like him. She keeps calling him names and I'm worried he'll get mad. How do I make her see that he means no harm? But he does mean harm. He does mean harm. He's gonna, he's gonna fuck you up. Protect your sister. Get, get out of the house! Uh, this one's from Sarah E. Farrell Buchanan, a hyphenated last name there, for, on Facebook. Growing up, my aunt used to scare my little brother and I all the time. That's a funny awesome. aunt. My aunt used to awesome. do that too. My aunt used to do that too. When she babysat us. Uh, she was in drama at school and liked to test out her acting skills on us. There's a lot of exclamation points here. How many? 
Every sentence so far has been an exclamation point. Oh, I thought you meant there was one uh, several after that sentence. No, 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 just frequent. I'll never forget one night the three of us were watching TV and she perked up asking if we heard that. We didn't. So she made a show of turning off the TV and going to the laundry room where the back door was. She started screaming at someone, asking who they were and to get out. She stepped towards the doorway and managed to make it look like someone grabbed her and pulled her into the room. Holy shit. We were terrified and frozen. The whole time she screamed, then stopped. She flopped her body out onto the floor. (laughs) Flopped her body out. (laughs) Like she was lifeless and dragged herself back as if someone was taking her body out the back door. Oh my God. Exclamation point. I often use too many exclamation points in my emails. I do emails. it a lot in my, in my emails, emails to be yeah, like, to hi, make... hi, don't worry, it's me. Look, if you don't want to respond to this, that's fine. Yeah, Fuck me. Yeah, exactly. Don't worry, <laughs> everything's okay. Here's an idea, but I can go fuck myself exactly. if you think it's stupid. That's kind of like just the like just the subtext of every email I send. Yeah. Oh, I can go fuck myself though if it's yeah. necessary. <gasps> Does this work? What'd you do? I almost broke the spirit cam. Don't do that. It's not over. I do want to know that my brother and I were like five and seven years old, so her acting skills plus our imaginations combined really did a number on us. We heard the back door slam and then someone knocked on the front door. (laughs) It's a scream situation, spoilers. You mean to tell me that as a five and seven year old, your fucking aunt pretending that she was being (laughs) murdered had a a fucking effect on you? OJ's here! I can't imagine, oh shit. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. We peed ourselves and screamed. Oh man, that sucks. That's a bad aunt. You can't make your nephews and nieces (laughs) Uh, That sounds pretty funny, actually. My parents were there to pick us up, and my aunt was in the laundry room dying from laughter at the perfect timing. Oh, because the parents came to the front door. Well, so the parents were in on it? Well, they said she got dragged out the back door, and as soon as it slammed, the front doorbell rang. I see. We were traumatized. (laughs) Yeah, no shit. Uh, We like to remind her of what she put us through, and we laugh about it now. There it is. I liked it. I thought it was well written. The language of her aunt flopping her dear Bonnie out like flopping aunt. Like Shamu. 10 out of 10 spirits. I give it a 10 out of 10 too. That's too Too many many spirits. spirits. Shot me, Stevie boy. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's a nice coat. Thank you. Oh, wow. As always, we'll be drinking from our customary Too Many Spirits shot glasses. You can find them on watcherstore.com. These are lovely. Buy them for you and your friend. This is recommended by Ricky. This libation is a Ricky Mendation. Put that on a fucking t shirt. <laughs> well, Enjoy. Yours is a than mine. Yeah, well, that's because he probably thought I could handle it. He doesn't know a lot then. <laughs> Too Many Spirits. Too Many Spirits. Absolutely lovely. We reached the part of the episode where we go to the mailbox. Folks, every every holiday season, the mailbox blesses us with stories that were destined to be read at the end of these episodes. What? What do you hear? Did you just fart? No. Okay. He what? says, ho, ho. A letter. In our mailbox. Ho, ho. Ho, ho. A letter. I, I hope, hope this story rocks. rocks. What do we got? Here we go. And these were put here by Mrs. Claus, the by wife. Her, her. The wife, the legal wife her, of Santa Claus. Her apple pie crusted fingers put those fucking. Her crusty old digits. Jesus <laughs> Christ, you just killed the snowman. No, he's all right. This is from Anonymous on Tumblr. H.H. H. Holmes was buried in a cemetery near our house. Sick. On the scale of believing in ghosts, I lean more toward being a shaniac. Okay. But my mum would make Ryan look like a non-believer. She wilded. Oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> what is she doing? Is she just trembling anytime she walks near a cemetery? Mum's wilding. <clears throat> anyway, yeah. we had uh, to visit this cemetery for her work. What the what hell? What the fuck does the she do? She, uh, <laughs> she wilded. <him. laughs> what she is wilding, dude. <laughs> and on a side venture, we tried to find his grave. It's unmarked. Yeah. It ought to be. Yeah. We narrowed it down to the spot under a tree. Now, I was being a real tool. (laughs) (laughs) Riling up my mom by taunting H.H. Holmes out loud, calling him baby dick. 
<laughs> and all types of stuff. Told him to come check out our house if he wants a chat. Our house was probably nicer than his quote unquote murder castle. He did have a murder palace. It had a fucking slip and slide in it. Yeah, it was pro- honestly, it was probably really nice uh, well, if you weren't being murdered. No, if it. you weren't being murdered. By the way, just for people who don't know, H.H. H. Holmes would murder people and then he would slide them down a chute into like a little dungeon. I thought uh, sometimes he would slide them down live. I mean, that's kind of cool because at least in their last moments, it's like, wee, wee, uh oh. Uh oh, that's a machete. Yay! No! <laughs> acid! <laughs> to a vat of acid? He's not the Joker. <laughs> right into the acid? Mom's near losing her mind. So she drags me away. Now, we get about 10 feet away when a very, very large branch from a tree by his grave just BAM! Cracks right off and drops to the ground! Like, it was super weird. No wind, a beautiful spring day. And the branch wasn't small, it truly was a big boy. That's what she gets for calling him baby dick, Would have done some damage if, if, if we were still under it. Anyway, Mum thought I enraged H.H. H. Holmes, but, like, if he was trying to haunt me, he was being pretty pussy about it. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't even make a whole tree fall over. I mean, a big branch, though? That's say, pretty impressive. One thing that people don't know is that trees are really rooted in there. You ever see, like, a little baby tree? A little tiny baby... <laughs> He's okay. cut off. He's cut off. Um, Fucking can't handle it. Roots are very. You know what I'm right Roots about. are very effective for. You gotta what, know your limit. Roots are yeah, meant to. to well, about. they're meant to root no, hold a on, tree. This dipshit saying something. Roots are very strong. Honestly, I know we just gave a ten out of ten. This is a ten for. This is another ten. It's a ten out of ten. I think it might be a ten for me it's too. It's a ten. Wait, the, is that a? Is that a that, double? It's a two. It's a, it's a two too many many spirit spirits. That's a. Too, too, too many, many spirit spirits! It's fun to have a built-in echo to that. That's our show. Tune in next week. We're gonna open news. Don't look at him. Hey, no, come back to me. Come don't, back. don't, Come don't. back to me. Hey, Jay, come back to me. Camera, fucking Jay, Hold come the back line. to me. Come back to me, That's Jay. That's our show. Jay. Tune in next week. I thought we had something Shut special. up, Ryan. I talked to you before this, and we connected. Tune in next week. We're gonna open oh new sweaters. God. We're gonna read some new stories. And a whole new drink awaits us. We'll see you then. That was a good outro, actually. I, I respect your choice to Back stay here. over there. Hey, Thank what you. the fuck, we'll man? See you next week. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs>